Farsi in Persian. Zanon was the first independent <coughs> journal after the Iranian Revolution that specifically dealt with women's issues. Because of the direction that the editorial committee picked for its style and him, in spite of massive attacks to media, Zanon could survive for 16 years. This is the longest time ever a feminist journal could be published under restricted uh, regulations and censorship in Iran. Zanon went to production in February 1992 with Shahla Sherkat as the publisher and managing director. Zanon was founded by a group of Islamist women and men who have over time developed a viewpoint known as a religion uh, reformist, a view that has conflict with the conservative. Zanon speaks out frankly and clearly about women's concerns and daily problems while analyzing their causes. Some of Zanon's strategies. Zanon was asking for contribution uh, from both the modern religious people and secular women writers from Iran and other countries, including the West. Zanon argues for the unconditional elimination of discrimination against women. Zanon's objectives were the, uh, were the in, uh, enhancement of women's position in society, in legal, uh, social, cultural, and political arenas. Since Zanon has acknowledged the diversity of Iranian society and presented the views of both religious and secular uh, writers, it had managed to communicate with both secular and religious women. Zanon has been able to bring, uh, to bring modernized religious women together with secular, not conformist women and made a ground for them to express their experiences and ideas. Zanon hold that the main purpose of religious uh, decrees is to implement uh, is to implement justice. Zanon emphasizes that every Islamic rules are not necessarily uh, applicable to all times and circumstances. Therefore, they should re-evaluated and adjusted to the modern time, ishtihad. Zanon insists on temporality or secularity of religion. Zanon believes any changes in the women's situation are not possible without a re-reading and reinterpretation of Islam, Sharia, ishtihad. But something that was uh, very important in this uh, strategy uh, uh, was a very young cleric who were helping Zanon in its uh, strategy. A young cleric by the name of uh, Mohsen Saizadeh, who was very <coughs> familiar with various uh, religious <coughs> debates and sources, was writing Zanon's uh, Zanon, uh, juridical material, 1992-1999. The critic of existing laws was presented along with uh, judicially discussion and was mostly written uh, by me, 1992-1999. Saizade and me, one a male religious scholar and one a feminist side by side, proposed discussions regarding women's related jurisprudence and law. This was a very important combination that time, during that time. Science of the religious analysis offered protection to Zanon and kept it safe from being accused of acting against Islam. My critical views to the discriminatory laws was giving a new spirit to Zanon. Having those two other uh, having uh, these two uh, views and characters side by side made Zanon's 
this caution is unique because it was elaborating the necessity of legal changes in a very new method according to the situation. Uh, some of the uh, um, samples for Zanon's uh, reports. Zanon was working and was reporting on the issue of law, something that was forbidden and is forbidden in Europe. On the issue of black Islamic dress code for women. On the issue of female prisoners. On the issue of the family of prisoners. On the issue of women barriers. On, on the issue of runaway girls from home. On the issue of serial murder of women. On the issue of honor killing on the issue of family courts, on the issue of female student college dormitory, and uh, the issue of equality between men and women. Zanon began to introduce to its readers the history of feminism, its various branches, and its important leaders. Zanon was translating, is translating the new feminist scholarly articles from different parts of the world. Zanon was educating its readers with different women's movements all around the world and the uh, temporary global feminist discussions. Zanon was taken to court many times because of these discussions. But on Tuesday, 28 January 2008, Iran's Press Supervisory Board revoked Zanon Magazine's publishing license during the first period of President Shah of Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. After 16 years of publication, Zanon's founder, Shah Shirkat, has been accused of offering a dark picture of the Islamic Republic to the pages of Zanon and of compromising uh, the mental health of its readers by providing them with morally questionable information. Along with religious and feminist discussion, a large part of Zanon effort has been spent on reports about the Iranian women's contemporary social realities. These reports made awareness among society and caused sensitivity to women's issues in Iran. Religious and legal discussions about women's issues and the possible ways to enhance women's legal situation in Iran was one issue. Classical and modern feminist discussions from all around the world and social discussion about women's issue in Iran. And now I don't have enough time, just I can say that uh, you, you can hear from uh, her uh, Zanon's achievement. And you can find Zanon's achievements in all uh, campaigns that now they are active and they are helping the green movement in Europe. Thank you.